Hi guys, I'm Albert and here I have the Hewlett Packard Pavilion X2. So this is a 10 inch tablet by HP. It has an Intel Atom processor. It's a quad core uh, with a clock speed of 1.3 GHz and up to 1.8 GHz with Turbo Boost. It comes with 2 GB of RAM and 32 GB of internal storage. So these are pretty standard specs for a tablet which costs around 300 euros. I've been using this device for two weeks now and uh, HP has sent it to me to test it for WP Area DE. By the way this is a Windows phone blog, a German, where I work and if you happen to be from Germany or uh, happen to talk German at all I'd suggest to visit WP Area DE. I will link the site in the description so you can check it out. So let's now talk about the design which is really important when talking about an HP device because they have not really been known for good designs in the past so their tablets and notebooks have basically been always thick and heavy and ugly and round and they have never had a great taste in design I must admit but this one really impresses me this is really a great design really well thought and this just is amazing. So on the back we have this HP logo which is cut out for from the polycarbonate housing. The polycarbonate is actually quite okay so it it's not the premium feel you get on a Lumia smartphone for example but it's really good and it's matte so it has this matte finish and it is actually quite thin so from the bottom to the top it it is getting thinner and on the front you have these front speakers actually so these are stereo speakers and if this Hewlett Packard logo wasn't on the top left of the device you would say that this is a bigger version of the Nvidia Shield tablet so actually this really resembles Nvidia's tablet and I think that HP has not copied but heavily been inspired by NVIDIA's design philosophy. Talking about the design, I want to uh, just show you the ports here. Here we have the micro USB charging port, the USB port, the HDMI out port, and uh, the micro SD card slot. Here's the Windows button and the volume rockers. And on the top, we have this uh, on off button. And on the other side you have this 3.5mm uh, headphone jack, so that's about it. So this was the design of the tablet, let's now take a look at this flip cover. So as you can see it has this uh, kind of kickstand which is magnetic actually, so it attaches to the back of the device. So you can connect it via this magnet at the bottom, so you can see here the, here's the port and just connect it like this so this works pretty good and then you have this magnet attaching to the back of the device so basically you can have uh, two kickstand angles so here's the first one so this goes to a maximum of here but when it's uh, down here you can't uh, use the keyboard because the magnetic connector is loose and you can go up here so here's the second magnet I think yeah that's like this and then you have like uh, this uh, kickstand angle which is pretty comfortable so let's take a look at performance and software so this is for this is of course a low-end tablet so you can't expect all the programs Windows offers are able to run but looking at the programs in the Windows Store you can basically run every one of them so Metro apps will run fluid and without any problem as you can see with the Vetter app it starts pretty fast and should start at least and this is no problem and even games like uh, Halo and GTA San Andreas and Riptide GP2 run without any problem so this is really not a big deal for the tablet but uh, since it is a Windows tablet you can of course run desktop apps too so these traditional Windows apps like CCleaner and Minecraft and games from Steam, GTA 4 for example you can just play everything and use um, use Photoshop and Premiere Pro but I won't guarantee that these programs will actually run so you can install Photoshop 
that's possible but you can't really use it so you can take an HD image which is 1280 with 800 and put a watermark on it so this is what you can do with Photoshop but don't expect this tablet to be 3D modeling or developing apps uh, with Visual Studio or playing games like GTA 4 I have seen someone playing GTA 4 on this tablet uh, but I must say that it was really uh, not a great experience. You can play G uh, GTA San Andreas when you set the settings down, so the traditional version of GTA San Andreas. And you can also do uh, play Minecraft, I will add some footage later. And you can do these kind of things, not really impressively good, but you can do them. Uh, this is a tablet you will more or less carry around in your bag, edit Office documents on it, uh, like uh, Word documents and PowerPoints, and browse the web, Skype with friends, uh, write emails, so this is great for these kind of tasks you would actually expect from a tablet. It does everything of this great except like uh, the front camera is really bad. So actually it only has a front camera, it doesn't have a camera on the back and uh, the experience of Skyping is okay but it's not the really best compared to a Surface 2 for example so the the front cam there is really much better so it's a really big difference uh, let's now talk about the screen actually the screen is not the highest resolution display it has a, an HD display so this is uh, 1280 with 800 and this is not really impressive in regard of the display resolution and pixel density but I must say that the display has really surprised me so you can actually see pixels when looking at the live tiles and the smaller fonts here but you can still read them so this is okay um, but what really impresses me about the screen is actually the color reproduction when you uh, look at it you can see that these colors are all bright and they're realistic and natural and well saturated and this is really impressive for a tablet that costs around 300 euros even the blacks are impressive for an IPS display and I must say that the blacks are better than on my uh, 2011 MacBook Pro which is an, an i7 version so this is like one-tenth of the price of the MacBook and it has still a really good screen actually comparable to the MacBook screen uh, well um, battery life uh, battery life is okay uh, you get around eight hours browsing the web watching videos playing some games and uh, editing office documents so this is actually quite good so what impressed me about the battery life of this tablet is that you can just close the lid turn off the display and leave it for three days then you open it up and you lost like 10% on a maximum so this is really impressing so you just open it up and three days later you ha still have ba enough battery to just check your mails and uh, edit some documents or even uh, make a uh, call on Skype so this is really good and uh, this has really impressed me actually this is really good for a tablet so Windows tablets have never been uh, monsters in regard of battery life and this isn't too eight hours from a tablet is not impressive just compared to the uh, iPad or Nexus 9 so they have uh, really other dimensions of battery life so overall I really think that this device is great uh, I wouldn't expect to play LOL or World of Warcraft or uh, any of today's games like uh, Assassin's Creed Unity or um, GTA 5 when it's coming out so you won't be able to do this but if you're searching for a tablet under 300 euros and I hope that HP will uh, lower the price uh, from 319 euros to under 300 um, then this is really a great device so you should really think uh, about it and consider it when buying a 10-inch tablet